Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and today doing something a little bit different. Here with Danny Willens, looking at these two Mazas which we painted a while ago and the story behind them. So, we first met in 2013 through ago, yeah. some mutual friends, mm -hmm. both in like the art scene. I love art, I love coffee. I actually like bikes too, but it's a separate thing, mm -hmm. but art and coffee. But for those that don't know you, you've obviously popped in the art scene here in Australia, but do you want to just give a 30 second, your, Ooh, your journey? I've got to whittle it down to 30 seconds. Um, so basically I'm a, an airbrush artist, um, a mural artist which specializes mainly in realism. Um, so yeah, I paint murals, um, custom collectible artworks, um, and that's pretty much the gist of it, I'd say. Yeah, yeah you, that was, um, I feel like that just narrowed everything you've done into very, 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 very small, very small. small yeah, amount. Yeah. Through that journey then, you've done exhibitions in art galleries and some, uh, well, some of those exhibitions we've lent these grinders out yeah, to be right. there, so yeah. it's been a cool Cool process, nothing to really to do with coffee per se, but more just a personal process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean you, you were there right from the right from the start. The cool um, thing was at the beginning, you were saying to me and to a couple of friends that it would be cool to one day have products at the MCA, the Museum of Contemporary Art here in Sydney, which is like a big thing in, in Circular Quay. Yeah. Not long after you did this, you ended up doing painting a whole Audi car for the city of Sydney and... It was a Sydney festival. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was really random. <clears throat> so I got, I got approached by Audi to, um, basically they were launching the new A3 sedan. Yep. So they approached me to, um, to create a design which was based around Sydney summer. So we came together and it was like a live, um, it was a live activation, so for 14 days I was painting I was painting the car in front of everyone, which was a real experience. And then at the end of it, it was um, displayed at the MCA outside, like all under the lights and that. So it was like, well, it's, it was, was crazy. Happy, I remember that yeah, was a happy, yeah, yeah. even now mm. your face is lighting up talking yeah, about it. Yeah, but it weren't, it weren't expected. It was, only, it was probably only a month before I was having that conversation. Um, and I, I was like, yeah, that'd be mad. We yeah. could get something in there. And I was like, I'll, you know. I don't know whether that'll ever happen, but yeah, a month later. Before, you, you do a lot of your own artwork. Obviously this, you've replicated my dad's artwork. Yeah. Um, but what you normally do is come up with a concept and That's do right. your own yeah. artwork. And mm -hmm. it's always been kind of flat. You've done these, you've done the cars, but you've actually done some pretty cool, I, I scroll through your Instagram a fair mm -hmm. bit, and pretty cool, like I've seen you do lift shafts, so when the lift yeah. goes down a house, you can just you yeah, see through done, the artwork. we've done lift shafts and I've done, um, I've worked for all types of clients. I do I do stuff in like people's homes, and yeah. then I'll do like restaurants, and um, uh, I've done like offices for corporate people as well. Um, so it's been a real, real wide, wide range of project, project yeah. projects in there. Yeah, for sure. I feel like you don't actually say how much you pop. Like your work's actually There's epic. And when you're talking about <laughs> houses, they're not your regular house down the road. Like you're doing some pretty epic work. Yeah, I've been I've been really lucky. Um, I've been really lucky over the years. It's just kind of um, it's just been word of mouth yeah. really. And then obviously it is you know it just kind of snowballs and, and goes from there. So yeah, I've been, been fortunate. It's been a it's been an exciting journey so far. So with these grinders, mm. I think for them to make sense, I kind of have to go back in time and say how they came about. Yep. The memories of me and my dad growing up would be he would go down to the garage and paint. He loved painting. Not for sale, he never sold any of his paintings, but oil on canvas and there was just artworks we had at home. Always loved hospitality and that was a separate thing. So in 1999, he set up the business, Coffee Parts, and unfortunately in 2005, he left us. And it's always something that I loved his artworks and I knew there was never gonna be any more paintings from him for obvious reasons. I was looking at these grinders and he collected vintage coffee machines over the years and I wanted to do something between coffee machines and his art. When I met you and you're doing these crazy airbrush jobs, mm -hmm. that's when I was like, I wonder if we could put his art on a coffee machine, yeah. bring it together. It's now 2013, so he'd been passed for a few years. And you were crazy enough to, to say, yeah, that's possible. Now yeah. I knew that obviously this 
going from flat to 3D was a tricky job. Yeah, I mean, the application um, and the execution is a tricky element, but for me, the, the, the trick, not the trickiest part, but the more daunting part, should I say, was um, doing your father's work justice yeah. and really capturing his, his work, you know? So, um, and, that, and that's why I took the job on. I really like the sentimental value yeah. of, of the piece. Um, I mean, essentially, your, this, this painting is a visual representation of your dad's thoughts, you know? Yeah. And that is, that's, that's captures and that's eternal. So to, to put that on a machine and do it justice, that, that's quite a daunting, um, a daunting project, but I took it on. Um, and I hope that I've, I've done a good job and I've done it, I've done it justice. Well, my mum um, was blown away. So there's amazing. three grinders, two here on display. Yeah. And the reason was three, we decided to pick my dad's last artwork. Yep. And then my favourite artwork, which is that one, mm -hmm. and my mum's favourite artwork. Yeah. And kind of us three and immortalise it in amazing. three grinders. Yep. Obviously his name's been signed into the fork and then we went and tidied up everything else with custom glass and, and mm -hmm. wood. But I think we should talk about the process of from a creative process and a physical process, how this came about. We obviously gave you the grinders without any of, we, we stripped them back, the switches, the hoppers, the collars, mm -hmm. etc. and we gave it to you. And we puttied up the holes before yep. where the Mazza logo was. Mm -hmm. but from then you rubbed it back, but do you want to then give a bit of a, um, a visual of what the journey looked like? Yeah, totally. So once the machine was, was prepped and sanded back, um, then I had to put a base coat down um, which would be the white, and then after that, I had to um, map the the design out um, on a transfer paper, transfer it onto the machine, and then it was a case of filling in uh, all the different shapes and sections. The problem with an airbrush is you can't just do it freehand projects like this because it gives a real soft, soft finish but to replicate his father's work and to create the sharp lines, I basically had to um, mask every single shape that has, that has got a sharp edge. Um, so it was a bit of a process. Um, and then after that, it was a case of um, giving it a nice clear coat, which always finishes it off and makes the colors pop. And that's when we, we, we took it from you, reassembled that the machine. That's it. It was about bringing legacy and yeah. they sit in our office yeah, for sure. And it's kind of like just a bit of a memory of him in the office. That's what it's all about. Um, you know, it, I, I understand that they both, you know, to, to capture that yeah. and to be a part of that, that's that's what makes my job awesome. Yeah. You know? Um, so I'm, I'm really pleased that I was able to get on board and hopefully, yeah, I've done, done your dad. It's a pretty cool experience justice. because I've got this painting, mm -hmm. the actual painting in my office at home. Yeah. I've got that painting in my lounge room, mm -hmm. and my mum has the grinder that was built for her. Yeah, that painting in her house. So I feel like Amazing. both at home and in the yeah. business, we've kind of just connected. It's a bit, bit spiritual. Yeah, you brought you brought him along. He's with you. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm really, I really appreciate you taking mm. on this job, and we've since become friends too. Yeah. So it's, you know, we we live in similar win, areas win. of Sydney. Win win. So we've never actually used these machines, we've just built them for display. Yeah. They're brand new inside. Mm. But um, yeah. Yeah, you got to keep them nice and clean and a, pristine. They're looking great, man. It was a, mm. not bad, nearly 10 years old. Yeah, has it been 10 years? Yeah, well, 2013, so nine wow. years we're, we're stretching it. Yeah. It? But um, yeah, January 2013. Time flies when you're having yeah. fun, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's been cool. We should do some more. Yeah, 100%, let's do it. In case someone wants to stalk what you've been up to, mm -hmm. we'll throw a, a link to your Instagram on the description below so people yep, can go cool. through. So. Thank you very much, appreciate it. So finally, thank you for coming in today. You're welcome. I really wanted to show these pieces off and also your talent. It's thank been you. a pleasure and hopefully in the next 10 years we'll still be doing hopefully. artwork again, together. Thank you for getting me on board and trusting me with these projects as well. You're welcome, it's awesome. been an honor and I really think you've honoured my, my dad's art beautifully. Amazing. We are doing a video series on all the custom builds and the people behind them that I've done over the last 20 years. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and see you in the next video. Thank you again.